What up guys, welcome back to the garage, man. Starting off, I'm gonna get these fenders up out of my way because they are good and dry now. Gonna hang them outside in the sun. Let them get some, sun. dude, they feel so freaking good. Look at that reflection, man. Dude, khaki is going to be on another fucking level. Anyhow, I'm gonna pull these things down, get them moved, cause we need the booth again. Perfect. Well, this should make a lot of you motherfuckers happy. Junior is at the house once again, so now we're gonna be working on something for the old, uh, I wanna call it the rotten egg, but it's not the rotten egg anymore. It's called Grinchy. Grinchy? Yeah. That's not what you said, it was something with a D. D's nuts. D's nuts. <laughs> I don't wanna say it in case it's like a secret or something, but. It's called Grinchy now. Grinchy? Yeah. Okay, so it's not Donatello? No. No. I just painted all the inside purple already, so. Yeah, so it's got to be Donatello then. Yeah, no, <laughs> I saw that thing's Grinchy. I think Grinchy is pretty good because it hurts feelings. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Stip, it runs around stealing presents from yeah. children or what? It runs around stealing hearts from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so he got a, a fuse panel. He's wanting to mount up on the dash and then a uh, push button start and stuff. This stuff's pretty dope, bro. It's gonna look freaking straight up race car, son. But this is the um, the center garnet. I, I don't know what the fuck you call this. The cluster, the bezel, the whatever it's on off of his dash. So basically, we're gonna cut some of this stuff out because massive weight reduction race car stuff. <laughs> that dude don't even weigh. He's just like <laughs> <laughs> every single little bit counts, bro. But anyhow, um, he's wanting to mount this guy up right here and mount this guy up right here so what we're gonna do is clearance it make some little aluminum panels that'll fit on there rivet it all down where you want to rivet or screw it down screw it because because in case it's uh well I'm, i mean the aluminum panels the aluminum pieces we can probably just rivet on and then oh, screw, yeah, yeah. screw yeah, sure. these on right you think the rivet's yeah. gonna hold on this yeah it will. maybe well we'll see as we get maybe. into it oh my god i'm gonna hold it oh i see what you're saying if the blade long enough Buddy, the plate is not long enough. You gotta kind of go at that angle. You have to come at the bottom as well, like do it from the top and on the bottom. Yeah. The baby even cut? Oh, uh, that battery is dead. Oh, that's why. Oh, damn! Yeah, well, that would have got your shit. Hand. Shit, it got me yesterday. No, I got quick reflexes, bro. Mine, I was holding the metal. You like, put that on the charger, though. So it was like, do, 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 do. Dead. I was like, like super dead. Kurva beach. Beach kurva. Whoa. He brought the video. <laughs> oh, you're going back to that guy. You're going to be here all the time. Damn, that guy looks like he's been put away for a minute. Where am I supposed to mount my radio? You don't have I'm radio. just fucking around. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. It's in the engine bay. <laughs> Dude, you should have known a freaking uh, grinder would work. Yeah. You guys, you, you guys know how the deadbeat boys are. They fucking use a grinder for everything. No, we can use it to cut cars. Yeah. That's what you use to cut cars with, man. Yeah, and our, our go karts. Anything, yeah, anything car related. Is that in there? I got the wires, dude. Yes, ma'am. All right. I have to. You don't have to. I don't think we have to cut this. Yeah, we can leave that. Yeah, so that's structural level. support. Yeah. Structural support. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, was like, that's not what I was saying at all earlier. <laughs> 
just missed everything I said. So I'll I just fuck it. off and die in a yeah, ditch. Just, yeah. just, go do it. just go jump off a cliff or something. Yeah, yeah oh. you're not needed here anymore. itself back together. Yeah. Cool about bitch. Hey, so how many push-ups you have to do for for cussing? None. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, my son's cuz, you know how many pushes they gotta do? Dude. Fifteen. I literally like I was like talking to myself and I looked over, I was like, oh yeah I'm recording on oh, the god. I'm I surprised even... you didn't try to go through and delete the clip. No, there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point. It was a little like I was drilling, making like I, I was I was like doing the rivet thing. So if I would have deleted the whole clip, then it would just got rid of. Yeah. All right. So now we got room for that big old bulky thing to sh fit through there, and we got room for which way? Oh, this is the top, right? And we got room for that. So, but now we got to actually close it off with some aluminum. Actually, make little panels. So we should probably make a template first. You think? Yeah, because he has make a template. There. Yeah, because he, he's wanting to cover this all up. Do you want to cover that hole too? Yeah. So should. just bring it down and yeah, so we're going to have to kind of get a little bit precise on this one. So yeah, probably yeah. best to make a template. We have that paper stuff in there. Grab the uh, transfer tape. Transfer tape it is, my friend. We've just been at this whole time I've been making templates. And then your business, because shit's expensive. It was like a it was like hundred eighty dollars for this roll. Yeah. And it, the price didn't go up on that. Like most of everything went up. Yeah, I think it did. It was like, I paid like hundred eighty dollars for this roll. I don't know why everything's going up, man. So just a rough idea about like the shape. Hey! Kurva, what the hell? <laughs> oh, it went right through his nose. Like, it glided right through his nose. I think you looked at it, huh? I was like... But yeah, it's like a rough shape, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out of a piece of aluminum, then we'll set it up here. And if it needs any more trimming, then we'll do that after. But that's pretty much what we're looking at right there. Liquor and sticker. That's good having a booty lip. Yeah. <laughs> it helps with jumping walls too. No, it does. The on the inside that's supposed to be like. Alright, now we got our foam, we got our stencils, and we got our jigsaw. Time to Now this one will go right about there, something like that. I haven't tried this one yet to see if it lines up. Might need to trim it a little bit. Looks like that corner needs to be rounded a little bit more for it to look clean, but it's pretty good, man. Looks pretty good, just round this corner a little bit more. This <laughs> <laughs> was like, I did this one. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, like, junior cut a piece for the top of the dash where that little vent piece is at. I'm like, still working on it though. He was yeah. looking at it just like this. He was like, I did this one. Come <laughs> 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 uh, uh, on. Looks, looks so proud. But yeah, I'm just going to round that a little bit more. It looks a little funky. 
All right, I got that all rounded off and I went through and I marked where I want to drill holes at for rivets. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those right now. And then we gotta figure out a way to mark this to where we can cut this out of that. So this will go through, yeah. We'll have to make a template of this somehow. Square off of it, huh? Yeah. This didn't come with a template? No. Oh, I don't know. Where's the box? <clears throat> Do you have the box here? Mine came with the template. It is. <laughs> you're holding that thing up like you're holding women, women's pants <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this thing came with a rubber gasket that I kind of used a little bit as a template. I'm going to undercut so I d hopefully don't mess this up. <laughs> It's left. I got like bags and bags of them. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, you a funny guy. What is it? What is it? Get my finger. You in there looking for rivets? Taking a long time, isn't it? <laughs> You're not finding them, are you? Bang, bang! Don't get much more race car than that, bro. For racing use only, bro? You trying to tell me you're saying a race car? It straight says for racing use only, Junior. Damn. Come on, dog. You're caught now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. I'll rivet this on. I would take all those off, and then we'll put this on there, and then screw it on, and then re-drill these holes, and then just put them through. I think it would have been a lot nicer if this was black. So I can match this. Imagine the strength in that man's forearm. Dude. This guy. I'm gonna choke the motherfucking chicken with that thing. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> He'd be like, oh! Cut off the hole yet. I saw you full send this motherfucker on your bumper or on the back when you're drilling it and you went like that and you're like, oh! I'm like, yeah, you whacked it with the chuck. Of course it chipped all up in. <laughs> well, it's because I wasn't trying to. It was just being like, there's like more than one layer of metal right there. So it was just like. Fucking race car. Sheesh, man, look at that. There you go. Now you can just uh, assemble everything. Put all the switches back in there and put the big old freaking thingamabobber on there. Do you what? Do you have hardware for this, or is she using no, screws? No, we use screws too. Okay. Need the six saws. Hey, you think um, you see how you scrape the this one from the inside? Yeah. Right here. So we just scrape all of it with the with the floss. It could look like 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 all of this, so it won't look plain like this. Like basically, give it like a little. Uh, with the wire brush. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, I could try that. Yeah. You can scrape the shit out of this too. No. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that to look like that. I like I like the way that thing looks, bro. You want to do that? You do that. <laughs> yeah. This guy wants uh, this stuff to be like a brushed finish, so that's what we're gonna do. Take the first. We gonna brush her. Gonna brush. Oh. <laughs> that's gonna look nice. What the damn hair is going on around here? I say use the. Um, I think it looks good the way it is, but whatever. I say use that the sander. Dang, bro, my soda was sitting right there the whole time. Bottoms up, hug it. 
Oh, oh draw a texture to it for sure. Good buddy, see now. Well, there it is. That's what she wanted. I should just put the fucking switches on it, huh? Right. No, we made the holes too big now. <laughs> oh. The hell. Let me see how it looks. So I could do the same thing to that. I just have to sand it off. Yeah. yeah well, now that it's off. Yeah, we should do it with that one. All right. Wait, what material is it under there? It's aluminum. I think you just coat it. Mm. All right, Junior wants this little panel thing to be black. So this boy is picky, ain't he? Yeah. He's a he's a picky little son bitch. He's a picky. Anyhow, a uh, little hack. Like whenever you're painting something like this, you could kind of warm it up a little bit first before you spray it, and it'll help it to dry quicker. Speaking of burning wood, bro, we need to get the fire pit going on here. So I'll record all the spray painting stuff on the, uh, when I have it. Can you spin it? So I get the other edges. Looks like it's already dry, huh? Yeah. Mine, dude, when I do, I just, I just coat it down. Yeah, I, I've seen. Yeah, no, that's why I don't record it. Believe me, you literally just, you do like four coats at once. <laughs> there she is. What'd you make, a mirror? I made a mirror. How you like the reflection of yourself? I don't see nothing. That's why. <laughs> Finished product, bro. Look at that. Dang old race car shit right there, boy. That came out clean, dude. And you legit, you have enough room right here you can put a gauge or something in the future or if you just want to like put a, like a sticker or something there. I don't freaking know. I think I should just put the AEM gauge right here. Yeah, I put your wide band. That'd be dope. Don't you already have it somewhere though? Like down on the lower I portion? Have it, it's gonna, I have it right here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I am going to have to move it because my digital dash I don't want nothing to... Yeah. yeah so so I... whenever whenever you want to do that, all we have to do is just pop a center hole and then use a, a hole sock. Just yeah. straight through it and you'll be able to run that. There's a freaking wide open back there, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, that'd be perfect. Sick ass dash for, what is the name of the car again? Grinch. The Grinch. Grinchy. Grinchy. Shit. I got my license plate made like that too, it's seven letters. Really? Grinch? Grinchy. Oh, it has to be Grinchy because there's already a Grinch. Who's the Grinch? That guy on Boosted Boys. Yeah. One of Boosted Boys is... I just remember that right now. It's Grinchy. It, it's an H to B, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, yeah. There it is, man. Dash is all done for Grinchy. I wanted the Hulk, but the Hulk was already taken by an all-wheel drive CRX. No. Oh. Well, my battery's about to die, so. Moving right on to the next project, huh? <laughs> you know, Billy from ASM is on his way over here. Um, we have a bunch of glass around here. You guys know we've, we've had almost every kind of car come in and out of this house. So going through all the glass in the backyard, I have everything for the sedan, obviously off of Gotham. So I have one of each door. So there's a front door and a rear door and then the rear window and then the front windshield um, He's gonna come pick all this up and then I also have the quarter panel glass No, this is the door glass for an EF hat and this is the quarter panel glass off the EF hatch Both of these are off of khaki. So he's gonna pick all this stuff up. I guess he already has the rear hatch glass for an EF um, He wants to use this to make templates so he can make Lexan, you know, what I mean So he's gonna be having EG sedan available here pretty soon which is dope. Expanding, you know what I'm saying? He also doesn't have EFs on his website currently. So once he gets this glass, he'll be able to put together a kit for EF hatches as well. The dude just literally ran to the freaking back there with the level right now. Bro, and the thing is crooked as hell. You can see it that the right hand side is definitely sitting up a lot higher than the left. Like you can tell. 
Dingus head? Bro, you are tripping right now. Anyhow, yeah, I look up I look up here right now and this dude has a level out here. He's literally putting his thing on with a level. What you mean? I didn't what makes you think the driveway is level and that the car is sitting level? Did you check and make sure you have the same tire pressure on the left and the right? A matter of fact, you might want to straighten the car out a little bit, you know? Hell, the wheels are even turned, so I'm sure the the steering geometry has the car sitting a little weird. What's your conclusion? The right side needs to go up or? The right side needs to go down. No, up. <laughs> Bro. Dude, looking at it, the right side looks like it's sitting up higher than the left for sure. If you guys are wondering what he's putting that thing on the front of the car for, it's to mount a splitter. He, want, he wants to make a front splitter like what we have on Khaki over here. Boing, boing. Yeah, I was supposed to go to old school today to go get another dryer for my gun because that one that I got yesterday, it already turned pink. It's no, it's no longer blue balls. They're already closed, so we're going to go in the morning, some bitch. So no spring today. The sun's already down anyhow. All right, I, I can't let Junior freaking leave without saying bye to you guys. They gonna see Peace. me again? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe in six months. Yeah, again. <laughs> Come on, uh, nice though. Thank you guys for the. Hell, dude, you need to bring the car by so we can like. Well, it's not go. drivable right now. Oh, well, whenever you get it back up and going. Yeah. Cause we gotta do an update video on, on the Grinch. Grinchy. On yeah. Grinchy. Yeah. <laughs> do the rotten egg, bro. What the hell, man? It doesn't look rotting anymore, man. But it's green. Bro, and I was I don't trying know. to, you know what I was trying to look for? I was trying to find pictures since when I first got it. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was full of to, to now. You go back to the old videos, bro. Yeah, we got no, but literally I, recorded as it pulled up for the first time. Yeah, you go back to the old videos and they're. That was what, like 2018. No. It wasn't that long ago. It was like 2019. It had been 2019 because I had that Ultima already. That tw the 2019 Ultima. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't COVID yet, so it was gone. <laughs> it wasn't COVID. Yeah, no, it wasn't COVID. <laughs> oh yeah, yet. it wasn't. No, I call it the rotten egg because it's an because e it's a freaking EG oh. hatch, bro. They're eggs. But it's not rotten anymore. No they, and it's green. It and is green. Rotten is it's green and purple. Rotten, yeah. like, <laughs> rotten isn't as in like the like it being rotten, but it's more of like. You don't want to mess with it, kind of like the Grinch. It's just like scary. Like he he doesn't like the name anymore. He wants to call it Grinchy. Yeah, Grinchy it is. He's like I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I, we need to paint it one day. That's what we need to do. Yeah, a lot of body work still. Well, yeah. not a lot. It's only half of the car. Well, not even half of the car. Well, I know the quarter panel is bent from us always lifting it. <laughs> well, one side so. only. Yeah. One side. Yeah, the other side's still good. He yeah. said now he can lift up the back well, with just one hand. Cause the trailing arm. Yeah. 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 We got. We got to do an update video on it one day. Go over all the new stuff. It's a lot of new stuff. Yeah. It's not all the secret stuff. It's all secret. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still a stop B20 retake though. Yeah. 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 We'll prove it. We'll put a. We'll put a camera down the. The spark plug. I'm gonna try to put the other engine. What the hell? Well, all right, dog. All right, y'all. Yeah. Just ride it. Yeah. If anything, if y'all gonna go eat that sausito, let me know. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll hit you it. up for sure. I'll mob it. Later, yeah. dog. I only live like two minutes away from here. Yeah. That's you. What the fuck? We got closer. All right, so we didn't really get to do a whole lot on khaki today, but I figured um, may as well try to do something, right? I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the, the bumpers a little bit closer to being prepped and ready for paint. I don't have high hopes of getting this damn thing done tonight because this freaking bumper is a mess, dude. Like, if I could find a new rear bumper, I would probably send it with a new rear bumper, but I'm gonna try, dude. I'm gonna try to get the rest of this paint off of here. Like, we went through coats and coats and coats of paint stripper to get it to where it's at right now right now um the front bumper is is good like we got it all finished up with the little custom air ducts and everything uh it needs a little bit of block sanding here and there and just to be smoothened out basically shaped um and it's ready to be sprayed but the the rear bumper it needs some attention bro i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this thing down where's my other bottle there we go I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this thing down with some lacquer thinner really quick first, just to see if I can't get like a lot of that nasty look off of it. I think that's like, I think that's like residue left over from the freaking paint stripper.
Well, I'm going over this thing. I'm using freaking 40 grit, bro. <laughs> So 40 grit is super aggressive, especially on top of plastic. But it is taking all the old paint off, uh, but it is making the plastic really rough also. So it's gonna be a lot of work to get that worked back out to be like smooth. But I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna be able to do it. Uh, this is working to kind of get all the old paint off though at least. That's, that's my main goal right now, is just to get all the old paint off and then from there, I'll just have to use a combination of like 80, 120, 220, I don't know, just kind of get it sanded back smooth. Honestly, I'm thinking I might be able to like, where it's really rough like this, I might be able to just come back with the torch after I get all the paint off and use the torch to kind of just smooth in and out. I don't know, it's an idea I have that I'm probably gonna try later. For now, I'm just gonna keep on, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on, you know what I'm saying? Try to get as much of this paint off as I can. We can get this bumper pretty close to being able to be sprayed, then that one's already ready. We should be able to finish off painting all this stuff tomorrow. All right, so I've gotten most of the paint off. Uh, a lot of these like harder areas to get the sander in there I haven't gotten. And especially this little lip right here. I got the bottom portion because the sander will kind of sit in there, you know what I mean? But the top up here, I don't want to hit that too hard inside of that crack because I don't want to like lose that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to like eat at the plastic. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want to misshape in my bumper at all. But yeah, dude, look at that. It's come a long way. I've I've probably spent like an hour on it, like since the last clip, just sanding. There's little stuff here and there, but I figured I could probably get a lot of this little stuff whenever I switch from the 40 grit. I can't even I can't even believe that I'm using 40 grit on this right now, but I'm gonna switch over to like a 120 or something and then try to sand it a little bit more. But I do want to try out that torch idea because the 40 grit is leaving this stuff kind of like I don't know how to put it into words. Like it, it feels kind of like a flocked dash. You know what I'm saying? Like a, like it's soft. Like it has, like hair. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, I figured like hitting it with the torch. Might kind of melt it, you know, and smoothen it out. Let it cool off a little. Yeah. Dude, that actually does work pretty damn good. So I think that's gonna be my uh, method. After hitting it with the 40 grit, I'm just gonna torch the thing. Oh, that is actually working really good. Hell freaking yeah. All right, I feel a lot better about this now. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit worried about how like rough it feels, you know, but that's working really well. Using the torch, it's smoothing it back out, and then like some 120 or 220 or something. Plus, I have a full gallon of high build primer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's obvious, guys. I'm not gonna get much of this done tonight. I'm just trying to get a head start, so tomorrow I don't have as much to do. What I think I'm going to do tomorrow, uh, whenever I have sunlight and everything, um, is try to stick this thing inside of my sand blaster and get like all inside of these areas, like all these hard to reach areas and this little lip right here um, and that backside. Try to get all the hard to reach areas in a sand blaster. I wanna see if it'll work. Obviously I'll have to have the doors wide open um, and just kind of stick one side in and turn it, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a pain in the ass. But I think it'll probably work pretty damn good if I can get the bumper positioned in there to where I could actually hit it with the gun. But Billy from ASM actually showed up and picked up all that glass from me. What's super dope is he's gonna use my windows to make his templates so that he can put 
the EG four doors and EF hatches in the production. And in trade, he's gonna actually just hook me up with a full kit for the sedan, bro. So he's gonna give me the all four door windows, the rear window, and the front windshield, all in Lexan. Just for supplying the glass for him, dude, which is super freaking dope. I most certainly appreciate that. That's not only gonna save me a little bit of money, but it's also gonna save me a whole lot of work, man, because Lexan windows, when you do it yourself, it's relatively cheap if you know what you're doing, but it's a lot of freaking work for them to come out nice and actually look good, you know what I'm saying? So, um, huge shout out to Billy for that. I'll have his Instagram on the screen or in a link in the description down below as well. Um, if you guys are looking for Lexan windows, hit him up, and he's gonna be having EG, EG four doors available and EF hatches available here soon. Thanks to your boy! <laughs> for hooking them up for, with the templates anyhow. Yeah guys, I'm gonna call the video here because it's super late, man. I ordered pizza like an hour ago and I've been waiting for it to get here. Um, I need, I still need to edit this before I can go to sleep. So I don't know what all, I don't know what all it is we got done today, honestly. Like Junior showed up and we helped him with that and I, I don't know if I even have enough to put a video together. But I hope you guys enjoyed it either way. Peace out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna pick back up on that damn bumper.